Yo, what's going on? It's Hython back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the Cypher style server for RGH slash JTAG. For unlimited access, the server sits around 100 euros, which is around 115 USD. So, it's not really that expensive compared to most servers for the features you get. They also have premium access, which gives you a little bit more features than normal. Um, but you are required to buy unlimited access and then premium access too. Um, but it's completely worth it. I'll show you some of the premium access features. Obviously, I don't have premium, so I won't be able to actually show those features in action. But I, I'll just explain what they do, and I'll show where they're located in the menus. So, first off, we're going to just go through the cipher menus. As you can see on the dashboard, it shows the join the new discord, uh, team notoriety, which is a tool that cipher is partnered with. There's a help menu. Uh, you can configure settings uh, with down on the d-pad plus right thumbstick down. Um, it's it's kind of simple like the normal dashboard just a few things added um, I don't really think there's much through here. Yeah, there's not anything through here But um, a cool thing they have is if you open up the Xbox guide and you go over to settings you can reset your XBDM Which is really useful in certain cases. So I guess now we're just gonna head into a game uh, I'm gonna just go into black ops 2 because it it's probably the game with the most players right now to be honest and uh, once we load into black ops 2 I'll show you the cypher configuration menu too all right so now we're on bo2 um, we're just gonna go through the cypher uh, config menu quickly and then go through the other menus so the cypher config menu it's actually pretty cool um, the way they made it uh, the new update and stuff you can um, obviously enable and disable your menus they have crash handler um, KV Stealer Protection, which I would advise to keep on. They have offline mode, which basically just blocks you from going online. It's like live block. Um, no KV mode, you don't have to have a KV. Um, you can connect to live, force connect to live. Uh, Xbox Live info, your current key vault info. Um, the reason it says that I'm on Cypher for 10 days, I haven't been banned. I had a new KV that I was using on a different style server. I forgot to switch back to my old KV. But uh, my KV's unbanned for like, I think, 193 days so far uh, on Cypher, my main KV. Um, you can view your console info, your internal IP, external, your MAC address, um, your temperature unit, uh, which is like Fahrenheit or Celsius, um, your RAM temperature, motherboard temperature, GPU, CPU, your CPU key, your console type. You can reboot your console from here. You can shut off your console. Um, in the UI, there's dashboard, HUD, notifications, other menu. I'm not going to get too in detail with this because I really don't use the customization features that much because I don't sit there and like stargaze at my dashboard. Um, you can load modules. So like if I have a GTA menu, for example, Devil's Destroyer, I'd click on it and it would load the module. Um, you can launch a game, launch recent games. View loaded modules, load module, load a recent module, module auto loader, uh, misc, um, force join a user's party, um, Xbox Live party spoofer, achievement unlocker. I'll just give you an example of that. I don't know if I've already unlocked them. Yep, yeah, there it is. Um, you can add a virtual controller, remove a virtual controller, uh, change current controller index. Uh, change controller index player one virtual controller count physical controller count um, You can make it where it welcomes you on startup like it'll say hello uh, Aiden Which is my name. Hello, Aiden uh, you have lifetime or whatever you have and it'll 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 say that Every time you start up you can disable it if you want um, I Just keep it enabled because I don't have any friends and it makes me feel like I have friends uh, you can redeem a token it'll show if you're connected to cypher your username how much time you have left uh, membership like regular or premium uh, when you created your cypher account um, what client version you're on what build date you're on um, the change log and basically that's it for the config menu um, give me a second I'm actually gonna increase the brightness of this real quick alright that should be a little bit better for you guys 
Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into a public match. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you the off host in the pregame lobby. Um, there's numerous options for weapon options. No recoil, no sway, no spread, no flinch, no bullet impacts. Rapid fire, rapid fire speed, fast reload, laser, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know what those are, then I don't think you should be modding. Um, there's view, wall hack, anti-tactical grenades. You can change your field of view. You can go into third person, third person distance, third person angle. In-game, leave game, crash game. Crash game is a premium option, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It just crashes the lobby. Um, there's, you can... You can make your own config. I don't think there's a saving feature yet. Um, I would like to see that come soon in the cheats. Um, you can edit your anti-aim settings. There's there's preset configs. Um, what I would suggest using when you're just trying to annoy people in a public match or just HVHing someone, just click HVH. I mean, if you've seen the videos, their cheats are insane. They're unreal compared to like other self servers um you can edit your visuals like your esp and stuff There's network menus like self menu you can change your username um hi thing just type in whatever username you want and it changes you can change your clan tag <clears throat> Uh, flashing name that okay so the thing with the flashing name is it's really fast when you're in a lobby by yourself for some reason but when you're in a lobby with other people it's slower than that so um, you can freeze name which basically what this does it just freezes everyone in the lobby um, preset name cipher um, see they also have notifications and anti-freeze and it'll say when someone tried to freeze you um, nonsense yeah save names um if you want to be a skid you can't gnaw me you can't gnaw me these are just names i have on here when i'm just trolling people um you can reset your name to default ip spoofing which if you are ip spoofing i don't think people will be able to join you and i'm not sure if you'll be able to join other people i'm not sure how that works i personally just use a vpn uh here's players menu you click on their name their XUID will pop up their endpoint which is their external IP um, their internal IP and their MAC address um, you can change the menu layout like where it's positioned at on the screen um, I personally just keep mine in the middle uh, you can change the width the option size the option spacing the open bind I personally use the default um, and now we're just gonna load the H2H config which you can also do that in game and we're just gonna go into a TDM and mess with people I don't know I haven't played this game in a bit oh yep I do alright now if you ever wondered why people always say Cypher has the best cheats this is why Obviously, these kids probably aren't. It, it's just like when you're HBH with Cypher, you you kind of just get to experience how OP it is. Like it's really overpowered. Um, some kid gave me co-host for some reason. Um, that I don't know why he gave me co-host. Thanks for the infection, I guess. Oh, uh, um, also the only reason I'm dying to that kid is because he's invisible and in god mode. Um, obviously Cypher wouldn't let you die like that because Cypher's the best. But that kid's invisible and in god mode. But as you can see, it's pretty overpowered. Um, if I had someone to HVH right now, I would HVH them. Um, but obviously, I don't. I don't have any friends. Um, but I, I think you get the point. It's just really OP. Uh, I don't know why he gave me the infection menu, but I guess I'm gonna use it. 
Uh, I think that's the host. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna freeze them for using infections. Um, but obviously, if you have premium, you can freeze people and stuff and crash their games. Here, I'll actually demonstrate the freeze name right now. Watch, it's gonna migrate host, or it should migrate host. I think you'll see people leave due to transmission errors or something. It works pretty good. If you can't afford premium, you could just use this. Um, personally, I would rather have premium, but you know, I'm a broke boy. I can't afford that. But uh, yeah, that, that's that's basically how everything works. Um, if you guys want any more videos on Cypher or any more demonstrations, I would be more than happy to buy premium for a GTA demonstration because they do have a GTA menu that automatically loads with their cheat if you have premium. So, uh, thanks for watching, and peace.